Okay, so Alluvium just happened. And to be honest, there is so much to cover in just the first day alone. But I thought this small Easter egg might be the most relevant since it should be, or perhaps could be, a team effort for all of us to discover that could move us closer to unlocking more stuff in Alluvium. So yeah, the thing I'm talking about are these transmitter thingamajigs. What I've found so far is that they give you more details about the world and the lore that we have all been thrust into. Not to mention that we aren't even the main character in the game, so perhaps we are on a hunt for capturing not only alluvials, but key players in this world. But to give us a hint about what's going on, if you've roamed the overworld in the map Brightland Steps, you may have come across one of these devices which is meant for Arlen perhaps the person we are all trying to find. But what they reveal is some interesting things. So spoiler alert, if you want to find them yourselves, I will suggest you guys turn off the video now because I will be showing you where these are located and what they reveal about the game. So if you want to discover them for yourselves, this is your heads up. But here's what I've discovered so far when playing them. Another cycle has passed. How many now? Arlen, where are you? I expected you long ago. If only I had my equipment. There's only so much data I can gather. So many tests I can run. It's maddening. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding. I keep asking myself, what am I really here to save? The Codex was clear. But the longer I'm here, the less I understand. These creatures, this planet, they don't seem to need saving. At least not now. Were we too late? <coughs> Maybe. Maybe we're not here to save anything. Maybe we're the ones who need saving. I hope you're safe. Wherever you are. And I hope that when you finally reach me, you'll have the answers I lack. These Illuvials, they're unlike anything I could have imagined. Each one completely different from the last, as if the planet itself created new forms at will. There are things that float without propulsion, creatures made with the same materials as the planet, others that change color at will. How is this possible? What kind of world is this? For 20 years, I understood our mission. We were coming to save our own kind. Or I believed it so. Now I see the prophecies in an entirely new light. How could we have known? Damn. Mission. How were we expected to prepare for this? All those years, searching the catacombs, looking for signs. Wow. I realize wow. now Power I had nature. no idea what else. I was truly looking for. We all assumed we knew what life was, what it could be. But this place... For generations, we clung to the promise of a sacred duty. Now I stand here, wondering if we misread the stars all along. Are we too late? Too early. Are we meant to be here at all? Wait. What if? Oh, Arlen. Please come soon. I need you here. And the data patterns continue to fascinate me. These obelisks are truly remarkable. Towering. Pulsing. The purpose still not entirely clear. The technology involved here is complex. The power source, the underlying systems. There's so much to understand. It, it reminds me of the catacombs. So much information waiting to be deciphered. There's a pattern to their placement. At least I think there is. There might be nodes in a larger network. No. I must not get dragged into the lesser mystery. How they work, I will crack. But why they are here at all? 
Maybe I need to look closer at the residual energy. I wish I had my equipment with me. Now, these are just three that I've discovered so far. I'm thinking they may be the key for something more in the future, perhaps if more people all find them together. Because I'm thinking, hey, this has to be a community effort for us to all unlock the maps. With the three that I found, I want to make a location for all of them because I'm sure that other maps may contain more and perhaps this is the key to unlocking more things. Who knows? And if you like more stuff, but let's make this a community effort in trying to find them all. So if you like more stuff like this, I'm doing a tutorial guide to help you guys get started in Alluvium if you're having trouble with transferring SILV or IMX or ILV in your wallets to the main passports. If you need help with Alluvium Zero or the fuel market, there's so much to cover with just the first and second day alone. Don't worry, guys, I got you covered. So be sure to follow the links below to help you get discounts and follow along. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next episode.